How's it going guys? It's me Simon. In this video I'm going to show you how to defeat the shadow bosses inside the windfish egg. So first, head to Maid Village and the library. In the bottom right hand corner you find a black book. Read that book and take note of these directions. They're going to guide us through the windfish egg. So now head to the windfish egg at the top of Tao Tao Heights and play the ballad of the windfish and the egg will crack open and we just enter, head straight through, drop through this hole and now we're going to use that guide from the directions we got from the library. So it's different for everyone so it's not going to be the same as the one I'm using here. And then just drop down into the final four text. First up we have the giant blob, watch the way he jumps and leave a small gap from when he lands and then chuck him with some magic powder. Do this about three times and that's the giant blob defeated. Next up we have Aghanim's shadow who has two forms of attacks. He will shoot a red beam at us which we can hit back with our sword like a baseball bat and that will damage him. And his other attack is a blue beam which bounces around the stage which can harm us. So we need to avoid those blue beams. Don't try to hit them back or deflect them because they just go through and we will take damage. The only beams we should concentrate on to hit back is the red beams. And after about 4 hits, Aghanim's shadow is defeated and we switch over to our next weapon, the boomerang. This is to fight Moldorm's shadow, we fought Moldorm's before. This Moldorm is quite fast so we need to hit his tail with the boomerang to defeat him. And the shadow's next form is Ganon's shadow, so this one's quite hard to fight. We're going to have to dodge all these bats that he's going to throw at us. And once you've dodged all the bats, we need to watch out for his weapon as it spins and tries to attack us. We need to make our way around without taking too much damage and then charge up an attack and then hit Ganon's shadow. So we need to continue doing this quite a few times. This is probably one of the harder bosses. You can use Pegasus boots to dash around if you like and then do a charge attack and eventually you will defeat Ganon's shadow. Next we have Lomola who's really fast. He's going to charge at us so we're going to run around trying to avoid him while charging up our sword and then releasing the attack when he finally reaches us. Just like that. And after about 4 hits we've taken out Lomola and we'll be on to the final form, Death Eye. For Death Eye, we're going to need the bow and arrow and also the rock seller. We're going to have to jump along his swinging arms and dodge them and then shoot him with arrows when his eye appears. So you're going to become a master of jumping by dodging all his arms as they spin around and then shoot the bow and arrow as the opportunity appears and just keep shooting him and then finally you'll be able to defeat him and you've completed Link's Awakening. You really will become the jump master after you find this boss. There you go, Death Eye is defeated and we've just saved Color Hint and now we're going to uncover the mystery of the Windfish. So guys, consider subscribing for more gaming videos like this or check out some of my other videos to help support my channel. I'm Simon from LOG Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out.